Hello, I'm Dr. Joseph Leventhal. I'm an Associate Professor of Surgery at Northwestern University Feinberg School of Medicine, and I'm the Director of the Living Donor Kidney Transplant Program here at Northwestern University and Northwestern Memorial Hospital. When an individual undergoes a traditional kidney transplant, that individual is placed on these medications that they have to take for life. There is the risk that one is going to have lifelong of an increased uh, chance of developing certain types of cancers because of the immunosuppressive nature of these medications and the lifelong risk that certain infections may reactivate sometimes in life-threatening ways which currently we don't have very good ways of controlling. We're always balancing between the risk of rejection if we don't use enough of these medications, and then the risk of the unwanted side effects due to over-immunosuppression. The side effects of the medications that we use are very wide-ranging, and they vary from individual to individual in their severity. So the ability to eliminate these d drugs reliably, reproducibly, um, and long-term without a risk of rejection would be very, very important. It radically redefines what patients will have to experience and endure after the transplant is completed. The cost of medications for a solid organ transplant recipient run into the tens of thousands of dollars per year. Many of those costs are borne by Medicare and Medicaid, but only for the first number of months or years after a solid organ transplant. And then it falls to the individual to pick up those costs. The inability to gain access to medications because of economic hardship is one of the major reasons why we see people become non-compliant with medications and then go on to lose their transplants due to late rejection. A strategy that eliminates the need to take these expensive medications for the life of an individual would translate into an improvement in how we can take care of patients who receive a solid organ transplant. It would be very nice if we didn't have to be on this teeter-totter to have this balancing act anymore if we could at the time of a transplant through the use of a stem cell transplant recondition, re-educate the immune system in such a way that immunosuppression is no longer needed. In this particular protocol, we're doing a simultaneous stem cell and solid organ transplant. We use the stem cells and the kidney are both transplanted at the same time. Now what these stem cells do is they help re-educate, re-landscape, however you want to define it, the immune system of the transplant recipient. What we're trying to do is to get cells of a donor and recipient to happily coexist and live together in the bone marrow and in the immune system of the transplant recipient. We then have tolerance. The launch of this clinical trial is founded upon extremely important work that's been carried out in the laboratory over a number of decades. And one of the clear pioneers in this area who's made groundbreaking discoveries in this area is Dr. Suzanne Ilstad, who is the head of the Institute for Cellular Therapeutics which is the driving force behind this clinical trial. I've had the pleasure of working as a uh, colleague with Dr. Ildstad uh, over almost 20 years and have followed her research with great interest. And it's one of the few examples of work that began in a small animal, worked its way in a preclinical fashion to a point where it can now be applied in the clinical setting. Increasingly in what we call translational or early clinical research. Although there's a tremendous interest in it, there is a limited amount of money that we have available. This pot that's out there for funding, not just transplant research, but any research, has been over the past decade shrinking. So the challenge for us is generating endowment, support for a very promising, exciting clinical trial that could entirely reshape the face of solid organ transplantation over the next five to 10 years. It's why we've entered into this exciting research collaboration together. And that's very important to have two centers that are on the same page, that have the same ultimate hope and goals for the patients that are coming to them for help, for an improvement in their lives, 
to receive a transplant that hopefully will last them their entire life. This clinical trial has us all here at Northwestern and the University of Louisville very, very excited because it's based upon um, a body of evidence related to both the uh, stem cell transplantation and solid organ transplantation that indicates that it's the right time for this to be offered to our patients. For more information, please visit nfctr.org. Thank you.